Hi, I'm Noah Bombard, and here's what's happening in the ET Newsroom Tuesday, May 18th. Well, we had a major fire last night in Lawrence, a three-decker that caught on fire. We had nine people left homeless. We have the story up online. It was in today's Eagle Tribune uh, paper. Now, the significance of this fire is it was just a few blocks from the Howard Street Fire Station, which was closed back in August of last year. Now, there was another fire that happened earlier this year, a few blocks from there, and a lot of people are saying, hey, you know, if you'd left that fire station open, they could have uh, gotten to the fire quicker. It took them about five minutes uh, to get there from the central fire station. Our staff writer, Bill Kirk, is actually over there this morning uh, following up on this story, talking to some of the neighbors. Uh, many of them uh, wanted that fire station to remain open. Now, to put this in context, we've actually had uh, 24 firefighter positions that have been lost since 2004, and uh, the department uh, faces another 25 to 35 layoffs uh, this year by July. Hop on over to Haverhill yesterday and we had a very different kind of fire. There was an allied truck driver who was driving a truck full of waste down the road and noticed that it was on fire. Uh, the, the quickest thing he could think to do was to drive to the fire station. He actually dumped the entire load in the fire station parking lot. Firefighters ran out, doused the flames. Uh, he said, you know, that was the, the, the best thing he could think of to do. Now, although this ended uh, pretty calmly, this could have been a lot worse. According to the driver, uh, the truck he's driving holds about 100 gallons of fuel in addition to 50 gallons of flammable hydraulic fuel fluid. So you can imagine this, uh, uh, this, this bomb basically driving down the road uh, ready to go. Uh, he was able to dump the entire load into the parking lot and the truck uh, sustained minor damage. Now, what's going on in the ET newsroom today? Well, reporter Jim Patton is actually following up on a story that happened in Haverhill of a number, and we don't know what the number is yet, a number of armed robbers who apparently uh, robbed the family dollar in Haverhill. Uh, not exactly a, considered a, a gold mine opportunity for a lot of robbers. Uh, the, uh, the police actually responded to observe the robbers actually jumping into the river to get away. Now, they were caught. Uh, uh, Jim Patton is following up that, so we should have a story on that soon. Well, while we're talking about kind of bizarre stories, you want to take a click on the uh, Boston and Beyond category today. There's a story there about a man out in Chicopee uh, who actually uh, police are accusing him of trying to trade a baby for a couple of cans of beer. You can find that story on there. And also, if you click on the World Nation category today, there's a story of a woman down there in Florida who has been charged of chasing some Wendy's restaurant employees uh, with a stun gun. Apparently, she was not pleased with her order. Just a reminder, as always, to keep checking updates to eagletribune.com. And as always, you can find all this and a lot more at eagletribune.com right now.